In this video, I will show you how to dump this uh, packed file using x64 dbg. So let's open this file with x64 dbg. Click run. It will open the x32 dbg version. Now we are at the uh, start. Just press F9 or click on this button to run. And now we are at the entry point for the packer. This is not the original entry point. Our objective is to search for the original entry point. So to do that, we will press F8 and then we will find the start of the function for the stop. Now the stop is the stop of the packer which will unpack the rest of the file and execute it. So we need to find uh, the exit point for the stop. At the exit point of the stop, we will then be able to find the jump into the actual original exit entry point. So to find that, we first will put a breakpoint at the EBP because the EBP is the address that will be popped at the end of the start function. If you look at this uh, chart here, diagram, this is an uh, example of uh, any function in assembly code. Whenever a function first starts, it will have a prologue and epilogue. The prologue is to push EBP to the stack and then move ESP to EBP. And then just before the function ends, it will always pop the EBP. So imagine for a moment that this is the stop for the packer. When the packer exits, just before it exits and go to the original entry point, it will always pop the EBP. So that is the reason why we want to set a hardware breakpoint on EBP so that we will know when the packer exits and move on to the actual PE file. So to do that, we will now step through the start of the PE stop, the start of the uh, packer stop by pressing F8, one more time, F8, and now the EBP has been pushed to the stack and as ESP will now have the address of the EBP. So if you go to here, the stack pointer now will be pointing to the old EBP, that means it will, it will be pointing to this old EBP. So we are going to put a hardware uh, breakpoint. First we go to the stack pointer, follow in dump, and look for this uh, stack pointer pointing to the old EBP. So this is the place where we are going to put a hardware breakpoint so that we will know that whenever the uh, stop packer exits it will modify this uh, address right click and then breakpoint I'm going to remove my old breakpoint and I'm going to reset it again breakpoint hardware access word so now we have our breakpoint uh, watching this memory address which is actually this we are waiting for this to happen so now we can click run or F9 and now it is uh, hit our it has hit our hardware breakpoint and it is uh, if you scroll up you can see that hardware breakpoint has been hit I've put a command here for your convenience so it has just popped the EBP that means it's now ready to go to the original entry point which is the start of our actual PE file. So let us jump now over there by pressing F8. So this is the actual entry point. I've also got a command here for your convenience. So this is the, the place that, this is the PE file that we want to extract. We want to dump. So to do that, we must first dump this memory by going to this icon here, click on Scylla, and then click on File, and dump the memory. 
Now all, all the memory that has been dumped, search for this location which is 4271B0 which is here. So this is the one we are, we are interested in when we want to dump this. We want to dump this PE file. So once you select this, click on dump PE. And then you can select a new name for your file. I've already done this before and that's why I have this. So just give an extension dump at the back to the original file and then save it. And this one, you don't need to save the memory, just click cancel and close this. Now to test our dump, open this, open the dump file and now press F9 and straight away we land on our original access point bypassing the stub. So we have successfully dumped the PE file. You can go ahead and test this further and this is what you get. So that's it for this uh, video. Thank you for watching.